Hello and welcome. Today is the 30th of April 2020. Um, I would like to use this chance to explain some more advanced topics today, also based on questions I've received during the week. And uh, this is a great chance to actually um, explain some more advanced concepts this time. Okay? So this is just a short video on some more complex topics regarding the market structure market causality. I have created this diagram some while ago. Uh, it has appeared in uh, one of my videos before. And um, it's important to understand it because it shows you several things at the same time. Okay? In particular, when you look at long-term charts, you will see something like I show here. Okay? So above the price, you have dumb money longies who are in drawdown and who are in the market for a long time, who have not been stopped out or received a margin call, who try to be sticky and to stick to their positions. And below the price, you have a bulk of dumb money shorties who are also into drawdown and to try to do the same thing by selling the market. Now, why is it the case that you can see this kind of uh, structure? Well, obviously, um, if you consider everything you have learned regarding the market structure uh, via the website, via the channels and so on, you know that the smart money algos have all those principles they follow and they implement, yeah? Um, such as, you know, moving the price against the dumb money flow, against dumb money positions, squeezes, stop runs, um, stop runs in both directions, house cleaning, etc., etc., etc. Time and range principle and so on. There's a whole number of them. Now, as a result of all those games, most of money players get kicked out of the market at a loss or get a margin call. The ones which are sticky and didn't over leverage, then they will also end up, of course, in loss overall. Um, which is why we have, like, you know, those sticky longies at the top and the sticky shorties at the bottom. Now, the right side of the diagram, you see what's relevant for short-term trading, okay? So closer to the current price, of course, we have short-term stops of longies and shorties, um, close to the price. So the closer you go to the price, the, there will be some kind of dumb money tolerance, which means there is a certain priority which the smart money applies to the short term and medium term and long term stop runs and position runs. Um, and within this tolerance, uh, they of course, in order to achieve higher objectives, uh, let some of the dumb money um, trader positions uh, in profit. Now when that happens, it's most of the time only for a very limited time. And secondly, for as little pips as necessary, obviously, not difficult to understand. So <coughs> you're gonna have some kind of tolerance regarding a longies and shorties, so close to the price, so, have, so are new in the market with their respective stops. As we know, the smart money loves to play Pac-Man. Yeah? They try to cover as much range as possible. So they try to um, take all the short-term stops on both sides eventually. Sometimes they go in one direction for two days, then do a grip move down. We know the game, and it depends on all the factors shown. Of course, you also have, when you zoom out again to the long-term chart, you have also long-term stop accumulations. And if you zoom in to the price chart and you look more at, short, uh, at lower time frames in the short term, you will see the accumulation of medium and short-term stops next to price. And many of you have successfully traded this uh, since we started this project, and it's fantastic to see. However, I would like to draw your attention to the dynamics as shown here, and I will also give you now uh, some recent examples and charts people had questions about. Let's go to dollar yen. This is um, a screenshot on the hour chart from this week. Now, ignore the right side of the chart. If you see this chart here, the price is the consolidation, this low dumb money flow, long is and short is there, there were no close stops nearby. This may look as a low buy situation. So if you are a beginner, you may as well just skip it. However, 
if you are subscribed to the MK web and you look at the higher time frames, so you go to the day chart and you zoom out, aha, uh -huh, suddenly you can see this. And suddenly all of this makes lots of sense. So in this period of consolidation and low bias on the lower time frame, on the higher time frame, we see what's going on here. And you can actually even trade it. So you see that over quite some days, longies came to the market. The smart money drew in this fake support level here. Actually two, one, two. And then uh, after enough longies came in, it broke the fake support to the downside as they should, going for the stops below those lows in dollar yen. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, today, for example, if short is coming in and the thing flips and so on. And uh, the ones who, are, who have uh, subscribed to the video course, they know also the meter levels in this particular scenario. But there's not public information, so I don't uh, discuss it here. But go to the video course if you want to understand it. But just also uh, from a more basic perspective, okay? You can already see that on the hour chart here, you wouldn't, you know, um, have a lot of bias. You wouldn't know that the price will go down taking out those lows and stops because there was only a bit of the money flow. However, zooming out, seeing the flow overall, the targets overall, yeah, and what they are doing, the game in this time, in this case, the um, fake support, you can see that oh, they will break it to the downside, you know, which also is a 50% reversal uh, level of this um, V formation it did at the beginning of the year, yeah. Now let's uh, give you another example, Australian dollar. Again, ignore the newest uh, price bars. So the price went up, but there's some shorties, but not not a lot overall, yeah? So you wouldn't really like to just buy it against those few shorties because remember, that's another important point I would like to make. If they're just a bit more shorties and longies, this is never enough to do a long trade. If they're just a bit more longies and shorties, there's never enough to do a short trade. In fact, most of the time the price will actually go the other way in order to exploit the tolerance and the counter stops, you understand? It doesn't work that way if they're a bit more shorties, you know, it's bullish or something. No, it does not. That's not enough for bias. So, of course, we see now it took the upper stops, as we said, in the live stream and then went down. We predicted it in the live stream. There was a cool trade short. Nice. And, of course, we see now that longest came in. There's some kind of dumb money switch and the price went down. But let's go back again. So here this looked low bias, but the same. We go again to MKWeb. We go to the day chart and look at this. Aha. Uh -huh. Suddenly the whole thing becomes very clear. Um... It's a day chart MA run, and again, the ones who uh, have the video calls, they know exactly what's going on here. So, we could see that, look, first of all, longies, price went all the way down, cleaned out, dumb money switched to shorties, price went all the way up against those guys again. And in this particular case, look, they needed to clean this moving average because they, they can't do that every week. So, if they get the chance, they like to do it. You see the empty stop here, which was just at the MA. So they needed to take it out, yeah? Voila. Up, taken, and guess what? Again, down money switch long is boom, went down and we did the short trade today. You see? So basically, to make a long story short, yeah, um, understand these points. So the tolerance in the short term and lower time frames. Of course, there are some people that just trade inner range empty runs and they use a stop and they take what they get. Fair enough. Nothing wrong with that. If you want to be more refined, you need to have access to the MK web. You need to understand the longer time, uh, the long term charts, day charts for our charts, because then suddenly things will become clear and you know what also what to skip. And of course, if you really want to understand the complete market structure with the meter levels, you know, um, then you know you're welcome to subscribe also to the video course. Here are the links again. All right, well done everyone. That was another cool week. Um, and um, really happy, great trade calls. My own trade calls were very good so far. I think I have a 100% hit rate, <laughs> that's good. Um, but as I said, normally out of 10 trades, I also get one or two wrong. That's why you need to have risk management in place. And uh, stay safe, everyone. Bye.